Hello, I'm Claire Kelly, head teacher of a primary school in Yorkshire. We have almost 300 children in our school, age range from 3 to 11. Like all schools, we face challenges with increasing use of space. We have used small Pico handheld and small projectors, uh, tabletop size to enhance provision within our school. We've been able to use spaces throughout the school, which I intend to show you through this short video. Welcome to my office. Uh, this space, again, like most head teachers' office, gets used for so many different purposes. I'll meet families in here, local authority officials. We will hold uh, resources, finance committee meetings in here with governors. We'll do standards committees in here. And instead of flicking through several pages of paper, gathering around an iPad or my small monitor screen, I found that by using a small Pico Genie projector, I was able to share my presentations, my data, anything that's required within a presentation or a meeting on my wall directly opposite my seating area. When I used to travel to meetings or prepare for them, I used to carry everything I needed in a heavy bag like this. Now I can simply have my handbag, my iPad, my connecting cables and my projector. I always carry it in my sleeve. It's got a 20,000 hour lamp life, which to uh, budget holders like head teachers, we're always concerned about how many projection bulbs that we're going through in the classrooms. Simple tripod. An HDMI cable. Switching it on. Switching my iPod, iPad on. Here I've swapped my iPad for my favoured PC and you can see the projection comparison. PC works extremely well with this because it's in widescreen. Uh, what my management team and I like to do is to sit around uh, one of our PCs working together but using a large screen to see the results. So here we're working on an Excel document. Uh, often we may be putting a Word document together. It might be a report for our governors, uh, newsletters to parents, shared information where we're contributing together and that large screen is necessary that we don't get from sitting around a monitor uh, where it's uncomfortable. We can spread out on a large table and work collaboratively. Typically presenting in my own office, I might have an audience of three to five people where I'm wanting to present data information such as my school profile, where it's easier to be able to stand up, move around with the data and actually look at comparative analysis. And that's really useful. So I can share data the projector is so small, it fits into that little bag, ultra portable. It's also running on battery power, so I can connect this wherever I'm presenting, whether it be in my classroom, uh, my office, a conference suite, when I'm on the move. I've presented in the British Council, I present at the DfE, have presented internationally, and this is my tool of choice. Fits into my hand luggage, indeed into my handbag, and I can present anywhere on the go. Don't have to rely on a power source, an international power source, or being near a plug. Another favourite projector that we use throughout the school is this P50 Pico Genie. Ultra portable, ultra small, fits in my pocket. It's got its own remote control, uh, works with my iPads, fizz books, mini books, net books, uh, any device really that we have in school also works with a USB stick so we don't even have to carry content of providing machines around. 
it will definitely fit in a handbag it works on different aspect ratios and I use this particularly in breakout spaces as I'll show you around our school the Pico Genie P50 also being ultra portable does not need uh, power at the moment I've got it plugged into the power but will also work on battery it also has its own inbuilt speakers which is ideal when I'm making a presentation that requires sound here goes With a few simple connecting cables, we can use our Pico Genies with a huge range of devices. With our Android devices, we use an MHL adapter. With our Apple devices, we use an HDMI connection. We can put all of our um, resources onto encrypted memory sticks and use those um, as an alternative for an input device. So when we're moving around school, we're using very simple solutions. This is our Pico Genie M400 uh, that we use in school. We use this when we need a projector that can run on full back brightness while still on battery power. Um, and we find that works particularly well when we're holding conferences, when we've got it in our staff room, we might be training 25, 30 people, works very well for us. Uh, it's got its own inbuilt speakers and the focus is particularly sharp on this one. We all know how adaptable we need to be in the spaces that we have within our schools, so we need products that adapt to our spaces. Here I'm using a Pico Genie in order to present in my staff room where I have a magnolia wall space and I've just altered where the positioning of my furniture is, use the clever little tripod and here I can present my data to all of my staff. So colleagues would ask me, you're a primary school, you've got lots of IT facilities, every classroom has got a smart interactive whiteboard, works really well for us, we've got great projectors, they're great until the bull goes. I've got good service contracts, but I'm usually without projection facilities for 24 to 48 hours. Teachers will come to me, oh, I've got great lesson prepared. Yep, they can think on their feet, but with all the projectors that we have got that are portable, we've got a solution for them. So the temporary solution, when our bulbs go from our fixed projectors, is to use one of our portable projectors. Here it's connected to the BBC, um, looking at class clips, you can see that as a temporary solution projected directly onto our whiteboard, we may not have the connectivity there, but we certainly are able to project our lessons and continue the day without interruption. Alternatively, we've got our Pico Genie M400, again battery powered, really good for bright screens for classroom environments. Both of these projectors are LED, so we don't encounter the traditional problems that we have with our fixed projectors when the bulbs go, which is extremely annoying. Here we are in my multi-use space. We use this for conferences, for small group teaching, for intervention groups, dance, a variety of reasons. And we like to be able to have the flexibility of using a variety of projectors. Here I am using a projector that is simply connected with an HDMI cable. It doesn't need any other power facilities. It's running off battery and is at full brightness. Um, I'm using the example of sharing a data sheet here, which I might do at a full governing body meeting. So this would be really suitable for the 15 or so representatives who are going to be there at that meeting. Here our children are learning Chinese morning exercises. They're actually looking at projection screen as well as the teacher where it is showing simultaneous exercises completed by our late school in China. 
and the quality that you can see in the pictures comes from again we've got battery lights turned off still on full battery power and have full brightness and the mandarin's good too hi here i am now in our outdoor learning area in our early years foundation stage outdoor provision what i have is a portable projector that's suitable for an ipod touch or an iphone 4. they simply connect and dock and you play through in photographs it's not an ideal background here i'd suggest a white background on anything and then you can project photographs images straight through here through view slideshow simple with this kind of device we can download apps that will allow you to stream content through here directly and also it's a really useful tool for children capturing their own learning through self-initiated activities in the outdoor area and sharing them again in the outdoor area. Here we are in Catch Up Corner, which is a small space that we utilise for one-to-one -one tuition. We use this with special needs children or children who are on short-term intervention programmes. This type of space we wouldn't normally use with a fixed projector. It just wouldn't be cost effective for us. However, using one of our projectors from our laptop trolleys, we're able to bring it into this space and children using the FizzBooks can share their work at a much larger scale if necessary.